You have to learn how to walk straight so that you can be blessed by authenticating and confirming that which is true. Anybody out there want to do this? Thank you. Aleph Pei happens to be the word for nose, but it's also anger and wrath. It also means also, as well, too. So besides all that, there's something else also. But it has to do with character, which has to do with wrath. It might be simply us, also. Aleph Pei is to characterize or to bake. Aleph Tav Pei is you. It's translated as you, but it's also this plowshare. It's also the Aleph Tav revealed. Aleph Tav revealed. Okay, and we're going to get the blessed, the character of revealing the Aleph Tav, Achli, Aleph Ket Long of Yod. Aleph Ket is to wish. Alakat Lama Joda means oh that or oh how I wish. So this is basically my why my wish. Aleph Zion is where we get the word like a zazel goat. What is what is Zion again? Is that a hammer? It's a it's a it could be a hammer, it's a weapon, it's a but it also means then at that time is out Al if Alex Zion. Which is very similar to the word I am Tav, which is until the time, and then at that time. And then you look at I am Vav Dalit. Hurry. <laughs> Two minutes left on the table. Oh, no. okay. It means a brand or a fire brand. It means to bend or oppress. It's also the word for ode. I am Bob Dalit Bob Tav, written in the plural, means to cause or an inducement or because or concerning. So an ode, your, it might you say concerning you. So it's kind of like pointing uh, something in this direction. It's, it's referring to Dalit Kaf. It has to do with, I think, uh, doing something in the right way. If Aleph means I will as a prefix, you could look up Dalit Kaf. When you said O, is that like O D E? Like yes. Poem? Yes, that's what it says in the dictionary here. So if you look at Dalit Kaf, it means crushed or oppressed. Something having to do with, uh, so if this has to do with crush yeah. or oppress, in the direction of being crushed and oppressed, Aleph Tav, Kok, that's the word for commandment. This is your, Kok, your, your commandments. So what would that say? Did anybody want to get blessed? Something about the the anger ex, of expressed the, the anger of the Aleph Tav, the character of the anger of Aleph Tav. My wish at that time. Let me look at let me look at Aleph Dalit Aleph Dalit Tav. See, sometimes you got to look at these things back and forth and kind of work these things through. It's not necessarily so. Clear and easy, but it doesn't invalidate it necessarily. <laughs> well, there's no Alec Dalit Kaf. So if you go back to Alec Vav Dalit, which is the ode, it's kind of like a reputation, a voice or I speak. An ode has to, that's right, that's where you get the word audio, ode. It has to do with audio. 
So it has to do with, uh, as you said about our oppression. As you said about what? Uh, uh, what he said about, you might say, concerning what he said about being crushed and oppressed. And then you could say, well, the Aleph Tav of uh, your commandments, Chokik, Got a little bit of rain out there. Oh, Kuf. Okay. Here, we'll just we'll just end with this, but I just want to get this last thing down there for you. Hokey is hokey is legal. You're legal. According to the law of the covenant, you might say. Okay, so so you could say. Does anybody want to get blessed and, and learn to authenticate and strengthen and turn back, you might say, or correct the, the, the character of the wrath of revealing the Aleph Tav, my wish at that time, uh, you regard my voice uh, regarding the, the, your, your legal requirements according to the Aleph Tav. So if David was going to write something, embed it, and he's going to start off with Aleph, what's he going to say? This is all about going back at that time, sometime in the future, going back, turning away the character of wrath to him walking with us, revealing the Aleph Tav, which Aleph Zion, you might say, Az, like that's the first two letters of the Azazel goat, which has to do with the powerful weapon. Which is, or the the unique distinction of the Aleph. Your voice has informed us about the crushing and oppressing that we would get for not regarding your legal counsel. For not regarding. Well, I know that because I know the folk. I know the co covenant. I know what he said. If we don't regard it, what did his audio say? If we don't regard it, we'll get crushed and oppressed. And we'll only see his anger. If we do regard it, we'll see his face torn, turned before us with benevolent chesed, and that what's he will restore what's crushed and oppressed according to the terms of the covenant. The word down below, legal, is it touch? Legal. What's oh, that whole word? Okay. Oh, Het kuf yod kaf. It has to do, chok is, is, uh, is the commandments, but you could say chok is also the hat, the big white fence, and the kuf is like the pillar of fire pillar of smoke that was over the camp. So it's like the treasure box with the lid, which is everything inside his place. That's coke, which is otherwise known as commandments that was done away with. But what's done away with is the treasure box with all the good stuff inside. <laughs> so this looks to me like David is saying, if you guys have lost the good stuff and you want to get blessed, strengthen and confirm your path, and you will listen to his voice and the, the crush and oppression according to the terms of the legal contract that we had with him it looks like it, it'll be turned around I mean I'm assuming this can be turned around because I don't see the word turn around here but it has to do with my wish and if you look up Ket Lamed Kali Al Ket Lamed is wish but Ket Lamed goes the wish is Yom Teshuvah so see what I'm saying is that you have to know enough about the language and know enough about the Torah that you can read in and infer what's not being said by what's being said. And then somebody can say, oh, you're adding stuff to it. It's like, not really. Because the message of the Torah is always the same message. <coughs> so if you look at Ket Lamed, you know that La Yahweh's wish is that we turn around. You know that's what his wish is ultimately. Isn't it? So Ket Lamed Yod, Chali, means illness, sickness, and disease. So this is, Kali is illness, sickness, and disease. But you could say, is, is his wish that we are ill, sick, and diseased? His wish is that it's not anger, or that we have illness, sickness, and disease. And so what I'm saying is that, why am I even talking about these things? Why am I even interjecting the word wish, illness, sickness, Aleph Tav revealed uh, then at the time? It's because these are the matters of the words. I'm not getting these out of nowhere. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm looking at the words, understanding the covenant, and saying, I can't prove that David did this on purpose, but he did something. He was some reason why he wrote it like that. Maybe he was just messing around as a poet. But if you put these words together, 
And then you go and do this for the entire Psalm 119. It's about 185 words. This is just the first eight. Huh? What do you find? All the stuff we've been talking about. Is there anything, though, within the, all of those that, that tells the whole story all the way through 119? Oh, it's kind of like this. But in other words, you have to take this as a, as a statement, as a concept, and say, what's, what's he saying? You know, you have to sit there, and this is where you have to read it around and around and kind of play with it and chew on it like a chew in the cud and say, Ashri, Ashri, Afata, Afriaz, Odik. Odeka et Hokika. Ashri Ashri Af Ata Achli Az Odeka Ot Hokika. Ponder that. Think about that. What what could that mean? I, I did this twice I tried to render this. I, I gave this other guy calls himself the Hillbilly Hebrew. He's out in Kentucky somewhere. He used to use Strong's Concordance and came up and did the whole thing and it's pretty interesting. A little different than mine, but essentially the same. Mm -hmm. Try it. Try it. Just write them all down. Use the dictionary. Use Strong's Concordance. Think about it. What might it be saying? Instead of saying that this is who, or who that, or that, or would be blessed, or strengthen and confirm, think of it as all of them. Whoever would choose to be blessed, strengthen and confirm, go back to the correcting the path. So you use the Hebrew Tanakh and then put in yeah. the paleo yeah. letters? For the... That's all I'm doing. I'm looking at the first words of each of the verses. And again, you could say, ah, this is invalid. That's not what it says. David wrote, it's like David did not write the Torah. David was a poet. David was a singer. He messed around with words. The Torah was already written. The Torah was already, was already written. written. I'm messing around with David's words. So do you have to do you have to do you have to know modern Hebrew at all? Or for somebody that I mean I'll I I've, I've just been in this since, since two thousand okay. Since two thousand whatever, eight. And and you know how we hear words and so the words that we do know like in Hebrew is because you pick them up here and there. So you know when you're talking at least I can tune in to what you're saying. And now that you're dissecting it down into letters it's so cool. Now where I'm at and I haven't started anything, do I even want to go and study Hebrew? Let's because I feel you know like when I when I started to shoot a gun, I had the upper edge because I wasn't I didn't go in there already knowing it. So I was able to take instruction from the, 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 the guy and it was, I, I was able to do it right, right. the first time. I don't want to...